Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to explain to you how King Crimson works. And mind you, this is a theory, but it's probably the best one, the best answer you'll probably ever get. When King Crimson erases time, this is what I believe happens. Time is a thing in Jojo. It exists. Not like in our world where time is just relative and it only exists as long as we exist to perceive it. At the same time, I think that's overthinking it and I think it's a little too philosophical. And I also believe that the people who say it kind of have their head jammed so far up their ass that the kind of people that, you know, analyze everything you say in an argument in order to throw you off because of psychobabble bullshit. Anyways, I do believe that in the Jojo universe, time is like this, you know, it's this thing. I... I kind of do believe that I mean it's probably been proven time and time and again in Jojo that destiny, fate you know, things that are meant to happen all that does exist otherwise how the hell else was you know, uh, Zeppeli's death predicted uh, why does history repeat itself shit like that so, my whole theory on how King Crimson works is King Crimson is able to obviously travel above whatever dimension the regular world of Jojo exists on. I believe he's able to travel above that, pick out the points that, you know, that he wants to erase, and then uses whatever bizarre power he has bizarre power, to erase time. But when he erases that time, he remembers it. He is unaffected by it follow me here he is above the concept of time erasing time and he's above the concept and reality of non-existent time at which point i would also have to add in that he possibly knows about timelines that may not even exist just because he's so far above a dimension his power is so far above a dimension of like being able to perceive that that he is able to uh like, that's how he remembers things that were erased in time. And lots of people say, oh, you can't erase time, you can't erase time. If he wasn't able to, it wouldn't be in the universe, and I wouldn't have a theory about it. So, I'm, I'm really asking you to just, I'm begging you to just hold on with me here. Basically, it's going to take a lot of suspension and disbelief that just, yes, time is something that can be pretty much cut up, deep fried, and served on a platter. It is... A thing it is a tangible thing it is not just because people yeah, I've heard people say like well you could stop time and you could reverse time but you can't possibly just erase time oh yeah I want you to look at time the same way uh, Okiyasu looks at you know anything he erases he could just swipe things out of the air when people say hey King Crimson shouldn't be able to erase time. Then in my mind, I'm going, well then, fuck, okay, I also sh shouldn't be able to use the hand to erase, you know, the universe, or whatever the fuck, matter, their plane of existence. Then that shouldn't exist, if you're going to go that far. Expand a little. Let your brains realize that time is just as tangible in the Jojo universe. It's just as a... It's just as much of a thing as the universe around the characters, as much as the open air and everything in it is. And only then will you realize that that is how King Crimson works. Or it could be completely wrong. <laughs>